this morning. I'm, I'm thankful that, that glory to God, although it's just a handful of us, I can still the, feel the presence of the Lord in the house of the living God. Can I get a witness in here? I done had a situation where we had a church full of people. I, I've been there. I've done that. Now I'm ready for God to do what he needs to do with the real people of God. Can I get a witness in here? I'm thankful this morning. I'm thankful that I don't have a heart to, to give somebody hell just because they gave me hell. Y'all ain't saying nothing just because you do evil to me. I don't have to do evil back to you. All I know how to do is continue to pray without ceasing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I'm able to pray for you. I'm able to encourage you. Even when you talk about me behind my back. Lord, I just want to tell you thank you. Amen. But for but forever follow that which is good. I, I, I got to tell revival time. Sometimes it seems as if every time you try to do good, evil is always present. Yes, I wish yes, I had a church. Yes, yes. I don't have much of a voice, but I'm gonna yes, preach the same yes. this morning. Every time you try to do right, there's always somebody Amen. that's trying to push you 10, 15 feet back from where yeah. God done brought you from. And when you're trying to live right, there's somebody that'll come around with a beer, somebody that'll come around with a cigarette, somebody that'll come around with a joint, and they know that you're trying to live right. But they keep trying your natural man, they keep trying your flesh. And you need to be able to tell God, God, here I am. Before me, but God, I need you to cover me. Tell your neighbor, I need God to cover me. Oh God, I feel the preacher man rising in me. I need you to cover me, God. Even in my messed up situation, God, I need you to cover me. I need you to be with me along this life journey. Sometimes I get ungrateful. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Every now and then I start complaining. Y'all ain't saying nothing. That's the reason why you got to be careful. What you sing, come on somebody. We love to sing. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days. And some lonely nights. But when I look around, come on somebody. And we start starting to think things over. We start saying, my good days outweigh my bad days. And then we come out with, ah, I won't complain. The problem is, even through our good and bad days, we still complain. So now when we are complaining, God is looking at us and he's not saying, look at my saint of God. He's not saying, look at this hypocrite. This one that's saying one thing out of their mouth, but their heart is far from it. Y'all ain't gonna talk back to me. Yes, yes. yes. Come on, somebody. Yes, yes. Here we are trying to tell people, praise God in the midst of your circumstance. And as soon as we start going through something, we start denying God. We're starting to try to find out what root bunker we can go to. We're trying to use every remedy besides the word of the living God. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me in here. I talk to myself this morning because I'm grateful to God. I'm not six feet down under. And I'm not sitting around here ailing my body. But I got an activity on my limbs. I got the blood running through my veins. Somebody shout it yeah. God, I just want to tell you thank you. It says here that those among yourselves and to all men, we ought to show good. Come on, somebody. It's not because of, 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 of trying to get notoriety for yourself and trying to look like you're bigger than somebody else. We ought to be able to be a blessing even if they don't put our name in the paper. Amen. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. If they don't crown you with, 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 with a robe and if they don't give you a crown, you ought to be able to know that your reward is still laid up in glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You've got to be able to know your reward is in heaven. So many people want rewards down here. But see, the Bible says that the, these earthly things shall do what? Pass away. But the word of God is going to do what? Stand. 
Can I get a witness in here? We're so busy we're trying to worry about what kind of house we're going to live in. We're worried about what kind of car we're going to drive. And God is saying, will you ever be thankful for the breath that you breathe in? Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Would you ever give me thanks just because you saw another day? Will you ever give me thanks because I'm God and besides me there is no another? Will you ever just give me praise because I am God? Can I get a witness in here? So many people are looking at materialistic stuff. Well, let me see how much I can get in my 401k. Let me see how many how many dollars I can rack up. You got to understand that when you die, none of that stuff can go with you. Most of your family going to have a party right after the funeral. Y'all ain't got to talk back to me. They're not having a party because they ain't got nothing else better to do. They're having a party because they're glad you're dead. Because you never were being able to be a blessing to them. You are always stingy. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You are always selfish with your giving. And you wonder why the church is, is starting to, to charge people of God when they come to have funerals because nobody's willing to give. Oh God, help me in here. Nobody's willing to give anymore. Nobody's willing to sacrifice anymore. That's the reason why churches are charging. I can't tell your Apostle Jackson to do it because the house of God is just that. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Apostle Jackson, why you won't charge? Simply because this is the house of the living God. When I come in, I shouldn't have to pay for my joy. When I come in, I have not have to pay for my happiness. When I come in, I shouldn't have to pay for my deliverance. When I come in, I ought not have to pay for my breakthrough. I ought to be able to bless the Lord at all times and let his praise continue to be in my mouth. Can I get a witness in here? That's the reason why I'm thankful this morning. Because he looked beyond all of my faults. And he saw and asked one of my needs. And that's the reason why I can give God a praise and praise. Because I know God has been good to me. High five, you don't even say neighbor. Oh, neighbor. God's been good to me. I know what it looks like right now. No money in my pocket. My change is really strange. But I'm here to tell you. God is good to me. Shot glory. Come on, somebody give God praise right here. Come on, put your hands together and give God glory.